On this episode of the Whiskey Tornado, we're reviewing Barrel Craft Spirits Batch 35 Bourbon, and we're finally shooting in the new studio. Barrel Craft Spirits Batch 35 is a blend of bourbons distilled in Indiana, Kentucky, and Tennessee. Batch 35 was created using multi mash bill barrels of spicy, earthy, high rye, high proof oak forward casks blended with softer, lower proof barrels with notes of dark cherry and butterscotch. The initial blend was then layered with bourbon barrels specifically focused on tropical fruit notes. The resulting batch, according to Barrel Craft Spirits, is intriguing and peppery on the nose with a long, sweet finish. The youngest bourbon in the blend is six years old, and the proof comes in at 117.5. All right, guys, welcome back to the Whiskey Tornado. I'm your host, Lance. Thank you guys so much for being a part of this and sticking around and waiting for all these life changes and the big move. And now you guys finally get to see the new studio. We still have some lights to add on the shelves, but uh, we are getting this thing looking really nice. I'm excited. This one particular room has three different sets. So we're gonna be able to do podcasts, uh, live streams, and bourbon reviews for you guys. So with that being said, let's get in to this barrel number 35. Uh, Barrel Craft Spirits, long supporter of the channel and full transparency, they did send me this bottle. So huge shout out to them. Thank you guys. They're always okay with me giving my perfectly honest opinions on the bourbons they send me. So with that being said, we're going to give, uh, we're going to nose it, taste it, talk about it just a little bit, and then I will give my final impressions. All right, let's get into the nose here on batch 35. For those new to the channel, a 0.5 is an average score. Hmm, the nose really nice on this. Very reminiscent of previous batches. They are, you know, if you um, if you're familiar with barrel craft spirits, bourbon blends, they are oftentimes more to the fruity side, and this definitely leans that way. Lots of fruit notes here, like cocktail syrup, uh, real rich fruit cocktail syrup, cherries, almost like peaches on the nose. As you get a little bit more into the glass, there is some earthiness there. And I think they even said that on the um, on the description. There is some earthiness, a little bit of oak. Fruit dominates. There is a little bit of corn grain. So a little, just a, just a touch of youth on the nose. But the fruit is what really stands out to me and it's very vibrant. Uh, and, and really get you excited for what you're about to taste. This nose is certainly better than average. We're gonna give it a 0.7. All right, onto the palate. Cheers, everybody. Man, Barrel, Barrel Craft Spirits does such a good job with these blends, and they have just been killing it. I loved batch 34. I am in love with this batch. The uh, predominant note right off the bat for me on that was strawberries. Very um, strawberry forward, but as it's going, there is a very good balance of fruity sweetness and spiciness. That, those high rye barrels that are in here, you can tell there's some spiciness, a lot of fruitiness. Um, let me take one more sip here. Yeah, it's like, I don't know if you guys have ever had Mike's Hot Honey, um, but we went to a pizza place and had Detroit style pizza and they have this honey that's infused with peppers. Mike's Hot Honey, if you've never had it, go buy some. And trust me, it doesn't sound like it'd be good on pizza, but it's fantastic, especially on pepperoni pizza. But it has that sweetness with that spiciness. This tastes like strawberries drizzled with Mike's Hot Honey. There's that like pepper infused honey from that rice spice. Um, it is really beautiful. I love what the palette is doing here. Um, it hits every part of your tongue. It is really nice. Let's go in for one final sip here. Third sip, it's getting a little softer. Still have those predominant strawberry notes drizzled with Mike's hot honey. There is a touch of um, of youth coming through, just just a hair, a whisper of it. I don't know that a lot of people would pick it up. Um, 
still nothing to complain about here it is a fantastic bourbon i really like what's going on um we're going to give it another on the palate better than average score 0.5 would be average we're going to give it a 0.7 all right on to the finish guys nice long finish not a finish where it's squeezing the shit out of your chest <laughs> it's squeezing your chest a little bit not a finish where it's really squeezing your chest it is you know giving me a slight kentucky hug which i like but the finish just goes on it's it's a longer than medium finish which i really enjoy all those peppery spice notes i believe from those rye barrels doesn't feel like proof on the finish it feels like that rye spice which i love um mixed with those beautiful fruit notes i really like the finish um again i don't know if it's in that exceptional category where i rate things 0 0.8 0 0.9 uh but it is definitely really good um i think we're gonna give this one a 0 0.7 across the board a 0.7 on the nose a 0 0.7 on the palate and a 0 0.7 on the finish all right guys before we get into this review let me do a quick shameless plug we don't do advertisements on this channel i don't sell you guys anything we don't even do barrel picks for our Patreon community really anymore because all of our barrel picks are through um, our charity organization, Barrels for Hope. And we just released our first pick to our patron members. Um, and we did an Elijah Craig barrel proof. Actually, we were able to buy two barrels. We bought a short barrel and our founders pick. We have Hard Truth coming out. We have Foregate coming out. Um, we have a Middle West Pumpernickel Rye coming out. We have some really amazing things. If you guys would like more information on Barrels for Hope, 100% of the proceeds are donated to charity where we support military charities, cancer charities, uh, children's charities, and mental health charities. Uh, but none of that money goes back in my pocket or the other channels that have come together to collaborate and form this charity organization. All of it goes back to charity. Um, so we're very, very proud of it. If you would like more information, you can join for as little as $5 a month and have an opportunity to get some your hands on these picks. And when one of our more expensive tiers open up, uh, you'll be the first to know right now those tiers where you're guaranteed a bottle are sold out. But a lot of our $5 tier members are getting extra bottles that we have because our membership is limited to 150. A lot of times our barrels were produced 200 bottles plus so if you'd like to join that i'll put the link in the description below that is the only ads i will be doing on this channel all right guys let's break down the final score for barrel craft spirits batch 35 bourbon our first two handicap categories are appearance and availability the appearance gets an average score of a 0.5 the availability is a 0.7 these are pretty available um, and easy to find especially with this batch producing over 19,000 bottles as we stated earlier the nose the palate the finish all get a 0.7 for me very good scores things to point out are lots of fruit notes lots of strawberry a very good balance of fruit and spiciness with a very good body with that 117.5 proof we also gave the body a 0.7 the value on this is exactly where it should be it is a 0.5 a blend that is this good with a minimum of six year barrels blended into it is definitely worth the 80 dollars barrel craft spirits charges all right guys that brings the total score for barrel craft spirits batch 35 to a 3.9 it is definitely bar worthy just under that bunker worthy category but this is a phenomenal bourbon. So many people sleep on Barrel Craft Spirits, and, and I don't know why. Every review we've been doing from these guys continues to be bar worthy, and Batch 35 is no exception. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this review, please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know, what do you think about the new studio? It's not quite complete. We've got a little bit of light sliding work to do on the back bar, uh, but it is really coming together. And I think, uh, you know, rather than making another studio that's either you know, wood paneling or LED lights. Uh, this is something different that looks really nice in my opinion. I absolutely love it. Hope you guys love it. Hope it adds to your viewing enjoyment. Again, thanks for hanging with the channel during this transitional period of my life. I love you guys very much. We will see you on the next review. Cheers, everybody. Mm, man. Good job, Barrel Craft Spirits. Fantastic blend once again.